Hey YouTubers, welcome back to our Desert Have a Garden. Today I want to show you indoor aquaponics and challenges that we face with limited lighting. This system, I don't believe I've shown you before, is in a garage and the only light we have is limited that comes in through the window of the garage. So all day long there is very little light in here and so it has been a challenge finding plants that will actually survive in this system. Now you know that the fish require some sort of filtration and that's the whole point of aquaponics is that the plants do the filtering. And so we have tried vegetables, we have tried greens, we have tried a number of different things in here and we actually for a while had some success with dandelions but that's not really what we wanted to grow in here because they, once they bloomed, they would set off their seeds and make a big old fuzzy mess. So you can see here that we do have some greens going and what these are are peace lilies and they're just a typical indoor house plant and they don't require very much light at all. You can see they're nice and green, healthy, though we haven't seen any blooms. It's my understanding that in order to get their beautiful white blooms that it does require some additional sunlight. So we may never get blooms, but we are having success with the plants and it works to keep the water healthy for the fish. And this little plant here was actually a transplant from an indoor house plant that we have in the dirt in the house and my little baby yanked on the top of it and broke it off. So I took this little piece that broke off of the main plant and put it in a glass of water. And after a few weeks, it had quite a substantial root system growing in just the water. And we transplanted it out here. And this plant I wanted to save because it's a little bit sentimental for me. It was the centerpiece plant at my table um, when I married my husband. So. We've had this plant for 11 years now, and one piece of it got broken off, so in order to make sure that I could keep that important sentimental plant, I planted it out here. And all we have for the lighting, other than what's coming in the window, is one fluorescent light that we have hanging above the plants. And so that one light does not provide very much, but we didn't want to spend a lot of money on expensive light systems. I know a lot of people do, but we didn't want to spend a lot on the electricity and we didn't want to spend a lot on the actual light systems themselves. And they can be quite pricey. So you can see down here, the fish are in two water troughs that we purchased at uh, Tractor Supply. And so they're just two big uh, Rubbermaid water troughs. And in the above tanks are smaller Rubbermaid containers that we cut holes in order to put the bell siphons in. In this one, we don't have any gravel, and there are actually a few fish in here. Let me see if I can find them. These are some of the smaller fish. Where are they hiding? Oh, there they are, swimming across there. They're a little bit shy. So we have a couple small fish that are up here, and we actually don't feed them, but the um, the byproducts in the water are enough to feed them, and they've actually grown substantially since they've been up in this little bucket here. And so in three out of the four containers, we have gravel, bell siphons, and peace lilies. And so what we have is a constant pump on the far side there that's pumping the water up. Let's get this net out of the way and it pumps the water up through the tube and then it showers down in order to keep the, the water aerated here on both sides and then a valve and then the water flows into all four tubes through a constant flow and then each tub fills up and then activates the bell siphon and releases the water back down. Let's see if one's, this one's releasing the water down right now. And then the bell siphon turns off once the water has mostly drained out of the tub. And then it starts all over again. So if you have a low light system that's indoors, but you want to maintain the health of the fish and are not necessarily interested in the vegetable output, you can try some peace lilies. Also, other house, indoor house plants are supposed to be quite successful, but 
as you can see, the peace lilies are doing beautifully and they actually make it look quite nice out here. So if you like this video, please like our video and subscribe to our channel for more updates.